Let's enjoy these logs. Wow. I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to this nature. What a beautiful setting. I see logs all around me, right? And that reminds me of my student who wants to know about logarithms and the rules being followed. Well, once the logs are there in such a beautiful setting, no rules are being followed. You can see, it's just random, right? I see birds all around me coming closer, some sitting on my head. Wow, some sitting on my camera. That's beautiful. Well, anyway, we have to leave this setting, go back to the classroom to answer some questions which are based on logarithms. Well, it was great fun outdoors and you must have enjoyed watching these little birds moving all around. And those logs, well, they have created a lot of problems. Here we have three questions for you. These are kind of difficult questions. I'd like you to pause the video, copy these questions, work them out, and then look into my suggestions. Question number one, write y as a function of x and then state its domain. Log y plus two equals two, log x plus log y plus one. Question number two, solve log to the base 4 of 3x minus 1 less than log to the base 4, 2x plus 3. Question number 3. Write as sum or difference and find domain of f of x equals 2 log of x squared minus 4 over x cubed. So these are actually level 2 slightly difficult questions and in each question there will be some learning curve. So let us see how to solve such questions. Question number one. Write y as a function of x and then state its domain. So we are given log y plus 2 equals to log x plus log y plus 1. So let's isolate y. So first step, let me bring log x to the left side. So we get log of y plus 1 minus log of y. Now it's very easy to combine the right side. It could be written as log of y plus 1 over y. However, for the left side, how do we do it? Now this is the trick in board. 2, we are talking about log to the base 10 could be written as, 2 could be written as log 10 square. Log 10 square is 2, right? So you could replace it by log 10 square. That gives you the common base. And now we could rewrite the left side as log of 10 square is 100, right? So let me just write 10 square for the time being over x equals to log of y plus 1 over y. Does it make sense to you, right? So this is a very important step. So now we have, see, log of something equals to something that is these two things should be same correct now these two things should be same so that gives us an equation 10 square over x should be equal to y plus 1 over y do you get the idea so this is definitely 100 right from here we could isolate y so now we will write 100 over x and the right side y divided by y is 1 plus 1 over y. Correct? So we divided y by y writing 1 plus 1 over y. So that means 100 over x minus 1 is equal to 1 over y. 100 minus x over x is equal to 1 over y or y is equal to x over 100 minus x. Do you see that? So that is how we could write y as a function of x. So that is kind of very important relation which we derived from this particular equation. Now it says 
then state its domain. So, so basically from this equation, we have one additional restriction, which is that x is not equal to 100, right? Because then y is going to be infinitely large, correct? So that one value we get. Now, as far as the domain is concerned, basically is that x has to be greater than zero. If you look at the original equation, we actually get our domain and range from this equation itself. So from here, we get that x is, x belongs to real numbers where x is greater than zero. And from here, we can say that x is not equal to 100. Right? So that is restriction, additional restriction on x, uh, which we get from this particular equation, right? So I hope that makes sense. As far as y value is concerned, the domain for y will be that y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than zero. Correct? So that would be the domain of y, right? So, so that is how we will actually solve this particular question. So let's move on and take up the next question now. Now let us try to solve this inequality log to the base 4 of 3x minus 1 less than log to the base 4 of 2x plus 3. Now what we are given here is that the base of this log is greater than 1, right? So it means what? It means that the logarithmic function is always increasing, right? That is very important to understand to solve inequalities related to log. So let me make a note of this here. That is, since base, which is 4 for us, is greater than 1, so we know that log 4 of uh, whatever argument is always increasing. So the function is always increasing. This is very important consideration. So let's make things very clear here. So if I sketch this graph for both these functions, both graphs will be always increasing, right? So since the base is greater than one, since B is greater than one, correct? It is always increasing. Now, since the function is always increasing for both these values, arguments, in that case, to solve this inequality, we have to first find their domain and then work out the inequality 3x minus 1 less than 2x plus 3. You get the idea, right? So first part here is to find domain. So what is the domain of this function? So domain is for the first function, it is 3x minus 1 should be greater than 0 or x should be greater than 1 over 3. As far as this is concerned, here it is 2x plus 3 should be greater than 0 or x should be greater than minus 3 over 2. So basically, if you see both of them, we say that x has to be greater than 1 over 3. So x greater than 1 over 3 is the domain. Perfect. So we have to solve this inequality in the domain x greater than 1 over 3. Now, in, so that is the first part. Okay, so, so that is kind of very important. Now, if I solve the linear inequality, which is 3x minus 1 less than 2x plus 3, I get my solution, right? So bringing 2x to the left side, we get 3x minus 2x is less than 3 plus 1, so which is x is less than 4. So the solution of this inequality clearly is that x is less than 4, but is greater than 1 over 3. So that is how we solve such inequalities. Is that clear? So I hope that's absolutely clear, All right? Now let's move on and take question number three. Question number three, 
write as sum or difference and find domain of f of x equals to log of x square minus 4 over x cube. Now let's first work out the domain. For the domain x square minus 4 over x cube should be greater than 0. Correct? Uh, so if I look at the graph, let me sketch a graph here. In that case, the cubic function is kind of like this, right? So if x is less than 0, it is negative. For x greater than 0, it is positive, right? So, so at 0, it is 0. And on the right side, it is positive. On the left side, it is negative. Now, x square minus 4 is a parabola, which could be drawn kind of like this. Let me just sketch it here, right? Okay. Uh, in that case, these two points will be uh, plus minus 2. So from the graph, we can see which portion is going to be positive. So if both are positive, if both are positive, then they are positive. That means beyond 2, right? So beyond 2, both are positive, right? It cannot be 2 since 2 gives you 0. So, so we get x greater than 2, both are positive. And in the portion where both are negative, so, so in this portion, which is when x is greater than minus 2, but less than 0. In that case, both are negative, and therefore, uh, we will get positive result. So that becomes the domain, and you know, x cannot be 0, because uh, that will be undefined. Correct? So as far as uh, domain is concerned, from here, we get that the domain is x belongs to real numbers, where x is between 0 and minus 2, or x is greater than 2. Clear? You could also do with the table of values, but I find the graphical methods are very good. Okay. Now let's try to write this as sum and difference. The equation f of x could be written as log of, so if I factor the numerator, I get x plus 1, uh, sorry, x plus 2 times x minus 2. That is x square minus 4 over x. So we could write this as log of x plus 2 plus log of x minus 2 minus log of x. So that is what you get as sum and difference. Now the question is, is it correct? Now that is a huge question. You notice that the domain is also negative. That means from 0 to minus 2. So do you get an idea that now we should really work on it? The domain x could be a negative number. Now, if x is negative, then this will be negative. Correct? So how do you relate these two things? That is a big question. So many times students do not understand this part. And a very simple thing to do here is basically to take the absolute value. So when you write this, especially for this part of the function, we should write the absolute value. Correct? So that is what we have to keep in mind. And also the absolute value of log of x. Since this value, x could be negative up to minus 2. We have negative values, right? We need not bother about this since even up to minus 2, this is greater than 0, right? So what you learn here is that to be on the safe side, we should write the absolute values of logarithms when we write them in sum and difference form. So the correct answer here will be log of x plus 2 plus log of absolute value of x minus 2 
minus log of absolute value of x it does make sense to you so that becomes the correct solution in our case and that is why these three questions are very interesting and important questions so i hope you understand and appreciate feel free to write your comment share your views and i hope they help you thank you and all the best